But, you know, now I want to, you know, continue from where we left off last week, where we started talking about the name of, of, of the Messiah. You know, it is a complete shame, a complete shame, my friends, that the entire Christian world calls the Messiah by a completely bogus and made-up false name. And I want you to get this. They know it. Now, when I say this, I don't mean the general population. The general population is, is still in the dark on this. They don't, they don't know better, okay? I'm talking about people who translate the Bible and high-ranking mainstream church officials. High-ranking, okay? They know that the name Jesus is false. It's a false name. They know it. Okay, it was created. It's, it's, just, it's no more than a, a few hundred years old. You know, I'm, I'm going to prove that to you, my friends. I'm going to prove that to you. I'm going to show you proof from their own, own, own books. Now, it should be painfully obvious that the Christian preachers, the Christian uh, preachers are, care nothing really about the facts or, or what is true. The celebration of Christmas alone should have taught us that. Every biblical scholar or historian can tell you that the birth of the Messiah did not take place on December 25th. And that pagans celebrated the birthday of their pagan god on December 25th. But Christian leaders worldwide still use this day to celebrate the Messiah's birth. The facts about how these pagan holidays, such as Christmas, Easter, Valentine's, and Halloween, you know, were Christianized, is so overwhelming. It is just mind-boggling to see these Christian preachers stand up and perpetuate these lies year after year after year. Did Yahweh ever instruct his people to follow the customs of the Gentile or heathen nations? Can you find that anywhere in scripture? And worship him like they worship their gods? Nowhere, no way. I want you to turn to um, Leviticus chapter 20, verse 23 with me and read this with me. And see clearly, my friends, the intent and the instruction from Yahweh. In Leviticus 20, verse 23, it states, And you must not walk according to the customs of the nations that I am going to drive out before you. You can't get no clearer than that. In Deuteronomy 12, verse 30 and 31, it says, Be careful not to be ensnared into following them by asking about their gods, Elohim, saying, how did these nations serve their gods? I will do the same. You see, we're not to do that. And, and he told us. You see, this is exactly what Christian preachers have done by adopting pagan customs, my friends. And, and Yeshua uh, the, our Savior did not sanction that. Yeshua, our Savior, did not do away with the, um, the, the, the holy days of Yahweh and, 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 um, uh, and made it okay to keep the pagan holidays. He didn't do that. You didn't see any other disciples do it either. In Jeremiah, turn to Jeremiah or Jeremiah chapter 10. We're going to read a few verses starting in verse 2. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. Notice this. It says, This is what Yahweh says. Do not learn the way of the heathen. That is so clear. That's the same thing that we've, been, we've read in the last two, two, two um, scriptures. And do not be deceived by the signs of heaven. That's the winter solstice and so forth and so on. That the pagans... Um, uh, uh, run their, 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 their feast days by. Though the heathens are deceived by them, it says. Do you see how, 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 how deception comes in? 
In verse 3 it says, For the religious customs of the people are vain. They are wor that's what, they're worthless. That's what vain means. The religious customs of the people are vain. These are the same religious customs that the Christian world has, 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 has Christianized. You see? But this is what the Christian preachers do. You see? They, know, no, they, they notice that the pagans cut a tree out of the forest. So they say, let us do the same. You see? The work of the hands of the workmen. Notice in verse 4 what it says. Notice what it says. <clears throat> they decorate it with silver and with gold. You see that? They notice that the pagans, they decorate the trees with silver and with gold. This was going on before the Messiah was even born. Okay? I want you to notice that. And you can read this in the encyclopedias too. You know, Christmas, Christmas celebrations predated the Messiah. Okay? So let us see, you know, this is, this is what they did. They, they, they went and they fastened with nails and with hammers. Okay? So that it would not move. They saw that the, the pagans did that, so they said, well, let us do the same. They noticed that the pagans get their bunny rabbit to lay colored eggs, a symbol of promiscuity and fornication. So what they did, that's what they, did. they said, well, you know, uh, they, they tell the people, let us do the same. They never saw the, the, the disciples, they never saw the Messiah roll any colored eggs and have bunny rabbits looking for them, okay? They never did that. But that's what the Christian preachers are doing. They notice that the pagans keep the birthdays of their kings, their emperors, and their gods. So they say, well, let us do the same. In fact, they say, let us show them who is boss and keep the birthday of our Savior on the same day they celebrate the birthday of their God. Okay? We're going to show them who's boss, the Christians. We're going to Christianize all their, all their um, activities. My friends, did you ever see anywhere in Scripture where any of the righteous people in the Bible celebrated the birthday of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Noah, Moses, Elisha, or any of the great leaders in the Bible? You know, there were only two birthdays mentioned in the Bible, and they were both held in honor of heathens. King Herod, who beheaded John the Baptist, and the Pharaoh, who beheaded his baker, you know, during the time of Joseph, or Yosef. The disciples never celebrated the birthday of the Messiah, and, and that's not because they didn't love him. You know, it's because they did not follow the pagan traditions. They never said, let us worship the Savior the way the heathens worship their gods. That's what Christianity does today. 